Exciting news this week. I've got a new queen. Here she is, isn't she huge? Well, let's have a closer look and see what she is. Okay, so here she is, up a little bit closer. This is a Mimesia nigriceps queen. So she's quite large, one of the largest species of uh, bull ants here in Australia. A little bit of a story behind this one. So I was at work and I got a text message from one of my mates I work with. And um, he mentioned that they had uh, caught a uh, huge ant and they didn't know whether it was a queen or not. So when I got back to the office, they showed me in the container and it was pretty hard to tell. But um, when I had a bit of a look with the uh, macro lens, I could see some wing scars there. And here she is. So she's in uh, good health. Had to do a little bit of a change around with her outworld um, several times. Um, first outworld I had her in, I just realized was not suitable at all for her. Put her into a new one and then she started chopping her way um, actually through the um, mesh that I had on the top. So I've changed her now into this last one here, which is just a nice, uh, nice size plastic container, um, just with a couple of air holes in the top there as well. Um, she actually struggles to climb up the sides, which is good. Um, and it's a little bit deeper than usual, which is also good for me. I don't have to get quite as close to her. Um, she does seem quite uh, aggressive. Anytime that I really do get close to her, she wants to come and investigate and get close. And I'm not really that keen on getting stung by one of these girls. Um, I haven't been stung yet by a bull ant, but I understand it's quite painful. Um, if you have been stung by a bull ant, um, leave a comment down below. I'd uh, like to hear how much it actually hurts. Hopefully I'll never have to go through that though. So here she is in her outworld. Um, she explores around quite a bit in here. She's fairly active actually. Uh, drinking the water and, oh, yeah okay she has seen me locked eyes on my movement anyway i won't get too close no one here jumping out and getting me so this is the uh the new sort of outworld that i've put her in just in a test tube setup i've put a bit of substrate inside the test tube as well just to aid her later on um, if she does lay those eggs and cocoons let's have a close look so here she is, up nice and close. Um, let's see if I can get this um, focus a little bit better for you guys. We can have a bit of a closer look at her. Here we go. All right, focus, and great. Look at that. Look at those mandibles there. I reckon it'd be uh, hurt getting bitten by her as well. She does a little bit of cleaning there. Beautiful ant, these bull ants. Well, it's uh, just a little bit of a short video today, just a bit of an introduction on her, but I'd really like to hear your experiences in keeping bull ants. Um, I'd be really interested in hearing any little tips you might have. This is the second bull ant that I do have. I've got the uh, Mimesia nigrocincta uh, queen as well. Um, so yeah, if you've got any tips, that'd be great. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd invite you to do so, just so you can get more updates um, here as well. And also, I'd like to know what you'd like me to call this queen. I haven't come up with a name with her yet, name for her, so if you've got any ideas, um, that'd be great. Just pop it down in the comments below, and I'll um, announce the name of this new queen. So guys, thanks very much for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, any comments below, love your comments, guys, and I'll do my best to reply to them. And yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Hopefully I can get some uh, better footage of her and as she progresses. But boy, I'm so happy I got one of these queens finally. All right, guys, thanks for watching and happy ant keeping.